Hey guys, it's DPJ right here, bringing you another video. And today I'm playing as one of my absolute favorite champions at the moment. Um, and that is Pantheon. So I'm going to start with five potions. Five oh. health potions, four mana potions, and a um, two side wards. Pretty, um, a lot of champions a do nine and two. Uh, but I do 5, 4, and 2 on Pantheon because he is quite mana hungry, especially early on. I know so my path. I'm gonna go over here and help Sed with the red buff whilst we have a quick look at the teams. Uh, we've got Diana. Um, okay, Quinn's obviously the AD carry. It's a new champion, so that'll be interesting. Uh, Kale looks like she's supporting. Uh, Rengar in the jungle. And then Diana and Timo, either of them could be mid or top. Uh, so it's hard to say. Uh, we've got me in the top for our team, Vayne, um, AD Curry, supported by Nasus, uh, Akali in the middle, and Zed in the jungle. So, um, Do not pretty, me. pretty interesting teams on both sides. Uh, Pantheon is one of my absolute favourite champions at the moment. I just think he's so, so powerful. Uh, his Q just does a huge amount of burst damage to pretty much anyone uh, in the top lane. Uh, there's there's not a lot of champions that you would lose again against, but there are a few that will just destroy him, uh, such as Kale. Uh, if she went up top, she would be demolishing me. Uh, Teemo, I haven't played against Teemo yet, but I can imagine with his range that he might be tricky to deal with. So I'm going to back out there let her... Smite him, smite that. And then make our way up to top lane. Let us press on. Oh, get that one, get that one, get that one. Yeah. So we didn't actually Honor miss any CS there, speed. which is good. Managed to leash and not lose any CS, it's always good if you can do that. Get that one. My spear is restless. A little bit of a trade there with Teemo. Looks like he started with poison. Taking a, a few hits from the minions there, which is uh, good for me, not for him. They will know war. Um, I'm going to get my jump a little early. Normally I get my E next after Q. Uh, but I'm getting my jump um, because I need to be able to jump on Teemo. Throw spears at him randomly just to sort of uh, cause him to lose out on a little bit. Immediately. I have health and slowly try and poke him down. He started with the Doran's Blade, so that's pretty uh, probably not the best idea uh, as I went with so much sustain. And Timo doesn't have enough damage to just burst me down even with that. Um, but yeah, if I, if I could constantly keep harassing him, then I will eventually be able to beat him down, I think. I hope. Ah, oh, he still missed it. Their fate is I'm too terrible at last sitting here, apologies. Okay, so I've got level 2 on my Q now, so my Q's a lot more powerful now. First blood. And that's first blood. I know my path. Uh, that was um, pretty stupid of Teemo. As soon as I jumped on him, he should have started running through his life because. If I jump on him, there's no way that he's going to survive a fight like that. <laughs> Saying I always block his shots. Well, yeah, that's that's one of the things about um, about Panth Pantheon, that he's going to block your shots. Um, so the best idea is just to not try and 
do that, you know. Um, obviously, you've, you've got to keep harassing him. Um, it is important to keep harassing a pantheon. An enemy has been slain. You better. Um, it's important to keep harassing a pantheon, but you don't want to uh, get into a. You, you've got to at auto attack him first, break his barrier, and then use your spell against your Q against him. If you're a teamer, um, sometimes I take ignite, myself. like I did this time on Pantheon. Um, reason I took my ignite was because I didn't know for sure who I was going to be playing against, and also I felt that if I was against a teamo, it would be more. Helpful, uh, because he, he can just escape everything that I do to him uh, with his W. He can just fly away from that. Um, so yeah, when you're playing against Pantheon, he has a shield which um, appears after he gains it, his shield after he either does three auto attacks or three spells, I think, or his W. Every time he casts his W, it, it restarts as well. Um, so you need to remember that to beat him, you've got to at auto attack him once, which will break his shield um, most of the time, because it, it doesn't protect from a lot of damage. It protects from all of one attack damage, uh, as long as the attack is over 40 damage. With pleasure. So. Yeah, you break that shield. Onward. Just trying to show him there that he's got to stop, or I'll just smash his face in because he's getting too greedy and trying to attack me too much. And I don't like it personally. It's making it hard for me to do anything. So keep leveling up my Q, always going with Q, 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 Q for leveling up. Um, we will not enjoy Q this. just does so much more damage. Consider it done. You have slain an enemy. So I got I got really low in that fight. Uh, his shrooms were quite cleverly placed. I, I should have suspected that he would have done that, but I'm a, a bit of an idiot, so I didn't think. But uh, <laughs> you know that was a good play by him. Um, but I still came out on top and was able to beat him because I had that early kill. I had the advantage. Trying to keep up to five of each pot. Um, has been slain. Yeah. So let's push him down lane there. Which is nice of him to do. Let us I do apologise, I had somebody complain once I was... Um, Gotta be annoyed right now. <laughs> he just absolutely melded from that attack. Um, they're probably gonna come up and get me now, so I'm gonna put a ward down. That way I can see them coming. So, yeah, we, we should have this lane. I'm probably gonna try and take the tower now. I like to try and take the tower quite early with Pantheon if possible. Um, yeah, in case you were wondering, this is a ranked game. I've started doing ranked games on my videos now. I didn't used to, but from now on, my videos will always be ranked games. Your team has destroyed a turret. Their fate is seized. We get another key off on him. That should be enough. Another kill and a tower down. 
So, gotta go back now, get my Bloodthirster, and a Crystal Gem as well, I can afford, which is nice. Uh, I don't need to buy stock upon potions just yet, I should be okay right now. And now I'm gonna go harass some leads, uh, get some ganks off if I can. And Looks like we've just finished off bot towers, they're doing a great job of helping there. Uh, we'll just see, is anybody in our, no, everybody in our team is fed. Uh, apart from Akali. Akali is losing. But Immediate. Should be okay. Not enough damage, but <clears throat> I managed to get her weak enough for Akali to finish her off. So I'm gonna pop up a health potion and then come on up to this lane and try and kill his team again. They disgrace the honor. Okay, not gonna happen. I need to push back this lane. Without pause. I'm taking a lot of damage from these minions, but I don't care, I'm happy to do that. To get this CS. I know my path. <coughs> oh, didn't expect that. With pride. <sighs> yeah. An ally has been slain. Enemy double kill. Bringer might have taken our red. So it's quite possible that he did do that. Um, Executed. Said should get that kill, I think. Um, yeah, so that's what I was saying before. I, I sometimes take teleport on Zed, uh, on Pantheon quite often do take teleport because it gives them great maneuverability and helps out with uh, all the other lanes, but on this instance I felt that I was going to have better success with um, with Ignite. Uh, I felt that if I didn't have Ignite then there might be a few team fights against Teemo that I wouldn't be able to win. So yeah, that's why I took Ignite on this instance. An ally has been slain. Uh, I'm going to pop a Grimoire down here uh, so that I can push this lane out a little bit more. I know my path. So we're going to go destroy that Shroom in a second because it's slightly too close to the tower, which I, I think is probably the reason we can see it because it's so close to the tower. I don't know if that is a reason. They will not enjoy but, this. I, I think it might be. Um, so can I attack that without it going off in my face? Yeah. Okay, I didn't get any gold for that, just experience. Do not provoke that's okay. me. Um, okay, so I'm going to come down now and try and um, mess with this Diana a bit. Okay. She's not here anymore, so I'm just going to push back this wave. Consider it done. Leave the rest of that CS for her to pick up. And then come around this way and go back in on her. My spear is restless. <laughs> she may know. She may have wards up there. It's quite possible. Um, looks like Timo is trying to push my lane again. So Immediately. I'm gonna go An up and mess with seen. him. An ally has been slain. Double kill. Looks like people triple are dying kill. over there. Oh, triple kill. Nice. Compels me. You have slain an enemy. Deal with him real quick. <laughs> people don't understand that Nas, um, Pantheon does so much huge burst damage. Um, now on Pantheon, I like to build him as a glass cannon. Um, it's on. not the most common build. Most people like to build him a little bit tanky. 
I don't like to. Um, I just think he's so much more powerful with just pure huge damage. Um, and I get the cooldown boots as well. Ionic boots they of lucidity, or whatever you call them. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I started playing ranked games because I started getting the feeling that people were getting the impression that I was, Do not you know, just against teams me. that didn't know what they were doing and just started playing the game, which isn't always the case. You know, sometimes I am. Sometimes it's the case, but um, a lot of the time as well. I am against players that, you know, do know what they're doing, but it's more the way that I play uh, that gets me the wins, rather than what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not a great player. I don't claim to be. You know, but I I think I know enough to know what I'm doing. I know my path. Uh, so Timo is there. I know he's there. He doesn't know I know he's there. Um, and I know he has shrooms in that bush as well. Without pause. So he's probably just going to wait for me to push this out and then watch where I go. Okay, so... An ally has been slain. Uh, Curly's left. So I'm going to try and come down here and get this Diana right now. Your turret has been destroyed. Um, I thought my my um my team was a uh, but um clearly not. <laughs> uh, it's just uh no that happened. That'd be great. That was uh, really really bad play on my part. Um, and if I'd got that ignite off on Rengar, I might have been able to kill him. Uh, I don't know, did I get my ignite off? It looks my a bit low. I don't know, restless. maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, so, team is getting some half decent items now. <laughs> nice. I, uh, people would complain in that instance that that was a chaos. I don't say that at all because that was our AD carry. And I'm quite happy for it. AD carry to chaos. You know, go ahead. You need the kills more than me. So, go for it. I know my path. Uh, maybe somebody in the Onward. bush, which way I pinged it. No, there isn't. Okay. That's good. Um, so I'm just going to try and poke a little bit if I can. My spear is restless. <laughs> Zed is on the way. Always nice to know. With pride. So we're going to get this tower now. Shouldn't be any problem getting it. That's a nice easy mid tower, and to be honest, they shouldn't have let us have that so easily. Um, that was really stupid of them to not even try and defend that. Um, mid towers are possibly, in my opinion, the most important towers because everybody always tries to go down. Oh! And then saw Timo even up there. Um, immediately. Okay. So he took that tower. That's cool. You know, whatever. Let us press on. So I'm within range now. So I'm gonna try and come and jump myself. Throw a spear at him. 
consider it done. And then chase him down. And I'm just gonna keep chasing him. Flashed in for that. But I think it was worthwhile to do that. Just to pick up that kill against Teemo, because Teemo is possibly the most My annoying champion in the world. I'm going around that way because I know there's a strip right in the middle. So if I walk through the middle, yes. uh, that would get me. So that's why I went through at a bit of a weird angle. Uh, it's either in the middle or maybe a bit out of sight, I'm not sure. But he at least has a mushroom there, I know that much. It seems like Timo's pretty much given up his point of trying to live now. He sees me coming in and he just sits there and waits for me to jump on him. Which is uh, interesting, but interesting strategy. But, you know, each to their own. If that is what he feels is going to work the best, then good for him. Keep doing it. Um, to get the absorbed now working up towards Blitthurster so that I can have a little bit of life steal. Onward. And I'm gonna head back down the middle. Uh, if you're wondering why my um, Not recommended items is probably different to yours if you're playing Pantheon. Uh, it's because I use a tool uh, that I've just recently acquired and it's called Enigma and it basically lets you set they up your more. items for um, for uh, League of Legends however you want them. I'm not going to go into detail about how it works because if you want to there's plenty of videos on YouTube just look them up League of Legends Enigma uh, I'll tell you all about it. But um, yeah, it's a really great item just that helps make your shopping a little bit easier. But if you're playing a champion that you don't play often and you can't always remember the build, then it's also a good way to learn uh, to always keep your recommended items so that you can keep an eye on that sort of thing. So they tried to jump on him then, so I went in showed my face basically so that they would panic and back back off. Uh, because everybody knows at the moment that I'm doing a lot of damage. I may not be the tankiest or strongest of people, but I am doing damage. And quite a lot of it. Timo, I'm gonna s jump on your face again. Unfortunately, I didn't get an assist on that one, but it's quite alright. I'm happy enough with what I did get there. I'm gonna let him know that the Anna oh, no, is back. Let us press on. Um, yes, I'll let that minion push up a bit. I hate it when people say they've got to be right back. If there's the slightest chance in a ranked game, especially, that you're gonna have to leave, then don't play. My speech don't play. It's, uh, there's nothing more annoying. I mean, I know that things can happen, but uh, yeah. I actually I agree with um, Timo on that. I, I think Pantheon does need to be nerfed a bit. Um, just from this game, you can see how much damage I'm doing. Uh, he's just super powerful right now. Uh, the reason I get cooldown boots, if you're wondering, is so that I have a lot more uh, chance to use my Q. And my Q does huge amounts of damage, so it's worthwhile. Kale's here. Kale does a lot of damage, so I'm gonna try and run. I would like to help that necessarily would, but do not 
train to sort of get them to focus me, uh, be more within range, because I know that I could probably survive long enough for Nasus to escape. Uh, so I'm going to pop Man and Pot. I'm going to make work my way back up top where Timo is and try and destroy him again. Okay, he's missing. Oh, that didn't get him, really. Enemy killing spree. Ah, I stopped chasing because I thought I had him. They will ah, okay, not you escaped this, this time. But uh, Timo's playing not quite right here because he's just he's not helping out his team at all. Um, he's just climbing up top all the time. And I just wait for a big wave to come in and take out that wave, and then go back to helping my team again. And he really should be trying to help out his team in team fights. So, that's my opinion. As I say, in almost every game I play, my theories and my opinions aren't necessarily guaranteed to be right. They are just opinions. Um, yeah. Enemy Rampage. Am I meant to have more CS and Quinn? Uh, Their fate is sealed. I'm more CC than Quinn because I have one slow. No, but she has like six. Onwards. Okay, I'm going to edit. Take them out. Come up here and say hello, Timo. I'm going to destroy you. So they will be very, very upset. I'm gonna hide here. Uh, I don't want to go in the bush because I know I'll have a shroom or two in that bush. So I'm just gonna wait here. And then, as soon as he comes past, I'm just gonna jump on his head. He saw me. <laughs> he saw me and he backed up. He ran so quick. <laughs> That was quite amusing. He's just like, oh no, about the old run. I know my path. Yeah, he's like, oh damn, that's a lot of damage. It's just there's nothing he could do against me right now. Do not provoke me. I actually almost feel sorry for the poor guy. I'm gonna try and uh, do a bit of split pushing here. Um, they're probably all gonna come for me and probably gonna destroy me, but I don't care. I'm going for anyway. They will know war. An enemy has been slain. Okay, I didn't expect Timo to be coming up there. Um, so I'm probably just going back out now. Probably the safest thing to do. Kills there too. He was coming to gank me. Um, as I thought he probably would be, so... It's a good job I got out when I did. Um, so that's all my essential items built. I'm probably gonna go for maybe a last whisper next. Yeah, let's go for a last whisper. Um, deprive them of any armor they built to deal with me. <laughs> so yeah, Pantheon's one of my favorite champions at the moment. He just, uh, I get very similar games in every game I play with him. Um, I make a few stupid mistakes, I have a few stupid deaths, but he just deals so much damage that he destroys everybody. As you saw there, as soon as I jumped in, it was just huge damage on them all. Um, and who's alive? Left alive? Quinn. I think I can deal with Quinn. Um, yeah. With pride. My shield absorbed that, so. Um, I know if I jump at any point. It will also reactivate my shield, so... 
quite happy to jump on her at any time <clears throat> if she comes even within a huge range of me now then I'm just gonna destroy her. Oh damn unless her whole team is there of course. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got, I got the, um, he got the shutdown bonus on me, but I got the shutdown bonus on him as well, so, in my opinion, that was kind of worth it. <coughs> and I'm going to let them know that. mistake, but looks like they're going for it anyway, so I might as well try and come in and help. Team know that they should probably be going back. Uh, if we were higher health, then I can't pull a Panthon. Give me a chance. Well, okay, don't quite know what he's on about, but okay. Um, I'm gonna sell a load of these items so that I can start building. Which one do I want? Um, I think I'll go for an Infinity Edge. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and try and stop this as best I can. Well, it looks like they've all left. I'd like to know very much where they are right now. Damage. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna let him one v one, of course not. As if I'm gonna um, let them have a kill for free when I can stop them getting a kill for free. You know, I, I'm gonna do everything. I can to um, they disgrace the art of war. Enemy rampage. Yeah, Timo isn't worth much at all at the moment. I would actually be interested to know how much he is worth because uh, he is one. <laughs> I feel so bad. Let us press on. I shouldn't, but I, I actually do feel really bad for him. Okay, I, can, I can't help. An ally has been slain. Honor compels me. So, uh, yeah, there, there was nothing I could do to stop that. Um, I wish there was. I would have gone in if I felt there was a slight chance I could have won that fight. They will know war. But um, yeah, I, I knew I would just have died as well, giving them extra kills, and there just there wasn't any point in it. And I, I do like to try and help my team, even if I think it's a very slight chance I'm going to be able to save them. I do like to try and help them, but um, 
in most cases, if you think you're gonna die, it's generally best, at least in ranked anyway, to just let him get on with it and get that kill. At least you don't get to. You know, if, if I fail those chance, I could turn it around and I can make it so that we would win that fight and we would kill them all, then I would go in for it, but I didn't think there was any chance, so therefore I didn't. Okay, you know what? I think I can take these two. 1v2. Okay, I can't. Um, are they fed? Kale is six and five. An enemy has been slain. And Quinn is three and four. Okay, it's Kale. An ally has been slain. Kale is a, probably more of a a threat to me right now. The Quinn is. issues here is again that we don't have any wards. Um, we need wards to be able to win this fight. To be able to win this game. I'm waiting for her okay her ability to range is now gone. So I know that I can beat her now but she's probably going back up already so onward I knew I could take him under the tower. Might not have been able to take him two on one down the butt lane, but I think he always would get threat in either of those. Enjoy this. Pantheon backing off sort of helped. Uh, not Pantheon, Rengar backing off sort of helped. But um, yeah, I, I felt I could take them there. So. Clearly haven't immediately thought once. Stick in fires, we need an ace. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll um I go on with the team on that. Really would help if we stick together. Um but at the same time I'll just the way back. So I'm gonna let's say all mid. Uh, why somebody would say, will you stop killing me uh, in a ranked game, I do not understand because, to be honest, that's kind of the whole point of the game. Do not provoke me. They will know war. So, yeah, we're all gonna push this together and try and get at least a tower down. If not, at least a decent team fight would be good. really bad at the moment. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that in the replay or not, but it's actually kind of hard to play. Um, yeah, so once we came together, we uh, actually really dominated. So, yeah, good game. I quite enjoyed that. I love playing Pantheon. 
That is one of my favourite champions in top lane, mid lane, jungle. I just think he's awesome. Play him sometime. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. See you next time.